Today, there are so many good quality cameras around that many people believe that they can photograph a wedding, thinking it's the camera that will make the difference rather than their abilities. Truth is that if you want to become a good wedding photographer, there is a really huge learning curve, both practical and technical. My name is Keith Appleby, and welcome to your course on wedding photography, where I hope to give you practical and technical knowledge to help you produce a really great set of wedding shots. Welcome to lesson one on wedding photography. In this lesson, we'll look at the reasons why you want to become a wedding photographer, the thinking process you need to become a wedding photographer, and how to pre-plan for the day. We'll also look at the early stages of the wedding day itself, where the bride is getting ready. We'll look at how to shoot the wedding dress, the accessories and various other bits and pieces. I can't overemphasize the importance of pre-planning and preparation for the successful outcome of your shoot. Otherwise, the stress levels during the day might just become too much. So to get the best from this course, I'm expecting you to already have a good DSLR camera and have a decent knowledge of how it works. For example, you should know the effect of different lenses, shutter speeds, what an f-stop is, and how different lenses will affect the outcome of your image. You should also have a detachable flash speed light and know the basics of how this works too. The first thing you have to ask yourself is why you want to become a wedding photographer and do you have what it takes? A lot of professional photographers are now trying to get into wedding photography because it's so much harder than ever to earn a living in other areas of photography. And this is because there are so many photography graduates out there who are happy to take on editorial work for a very reduced rate, if any at all, so they can gain experience. In reality, wedding photography is probably one of the most stressful professions on the planet, as you've got to be able to handle pressure exceptionally well. And yet, you've got to appear outwardly calm, smiling, super confident at all times because everyone's looking at you throughout a wedding. A good wedding photographer makes it appear easy, even if one of his or her cameras has stopped working. People are watching you all the time at a wedding, as you are always on show. So try and avoid slouching, putting your hands in your pockets, or looking worried or anxious. Even if your shutter has just jammed, you've still got to appear super confident. You should also take care to be as discreet as possible on the wedding day, as this is not your day. It's the couples and their guests. You're there to document proceedings and not dictate them. However, sometimes you do have to be sure-footed and very determined to get the shots, because if you're too timid, you'll never get the key shots. There's a real art in getting the balance between being unobtrusive and still capturing the great moments. The best wedding photographers instinctively know how to do this. The bridal couple might typically spend a year or so planning for their wedding. And usually, once they've chosen their venue, one of the first things they want to do is book their wedding photographer. So it could be you, because it's such a crucial part of their day. The first time you meet your couple is absolutely critical, as first impressions really, really count. And what a couple need to feel more than anything when they first meet you is confident. Confident that you can deliver the kind of photography that they think they want. And confident also that you will fit in on their day. So the best way to help a couple gain confidence in you during the initial meeting is for you to be genuinely interested in their day and ask relevant questions. This way, your engaging personality will become apparent. Typically, when I first meet a couple, I don't actually show them any of my work for quite a while. I prefer to get to know them a bit so I can gauge the kind of couple they are. Of course, they are interested in the photos you show them. That's what they're there to see. But if ultimately, you know, your personality is not up to it, it won't work. So your personality is really the deal breaker here and not just the photos. And if you think you can just sit there quietly and say next to nothing whilst they gaze in awe at your fabulous portfolio and your work, think again, that won't be the case. 